Welcome to the Modular Clubhouse. I'm Jesper, and this is the Vivisect by Animal Factory Amplification. So the Vivisect is essentially a utility module uh, which offers a lot of value for the HP that it uh, that it covers. So what it does, it offers four inputs with their own attenuators that can be mixed, that can be offset. It's got a noise generator. Essentially, this is one of those modules that you truly need to have in your rack. So what I wanna do is I wanna show you exactly what you can achieve with this. But as always, I might be overlooking certain things. So feel free to reach out to me afterwards if you've got any questions. But for now, I would say, well, make sure you're sitting down strapped in got something to drink because uh here we go vivisect by animal factory amplification it is one of those utility modules that i've come to truly love and use as a daily driver so afa described this as a four channel signal processor offset and noise module and essentially that's true but you can use this in so many different ways um, I'm just gonna go straight through it and if you've got any questions afterwards just let me know right so what it you have here is you've got four inputs and those four inputs all have their own attenuators right there and their own separate outputs so one thing to keep in mind is that if you connect anything to the outputs it doesn't then remove that from the mix like for instance maths does what you can also do is you can say well I want to normal everything from input one to all of the other inputs as well so you can truly mix and mangle from a single signal source if you want then you've got your offset source which you can of course if you press the button it will be added to the mix if you turn that off, it will be excluded from there with its own attenuators for setting the actual value and its outputs. And then you've got a completely separate noise source there too. The one thing that's already pretty apparent that is that these buttons do have, well, lights there. So I do hope that the video does this justice. So every time you're going to see a white light, it's going to mean that it's a positive value. And that's also true for the two outputs. So as you might now see is that the positive output is positive white light, and the negative output is blue, well, a negative value. And if I then just turn it back, and there you go. And then of course, these values are inverted. So that's going to be true for everything here on the actual module. And that makes, well, just, well, getting an idea of what we're looking at at a glimpse that much easier. So what I'm going to do is because all of these are, well, DC coupled, of course. So you can indeed work with audio. You can work with uh, CV, anything you like. And I'm just going to make sure and use the, the visual aids that we have at our, uh, <laughs> well, that we have available to us. Let's just use them to make sure that we all understand what this module can do. So let's grab a ramp signal coming from the owner, which is running in LFO mode currently. And let's grab the output from that as well. So currently we're not going to see any sort of signal. And that's of course, because this is now in the middle and it's got a nice, really, well, sensible nudge there as well. So you truly feel immediately when it's in the middle there. So you can do all the way to the negative side. There you go. And you can, of course, go all the way to the positive. So you, you, you'll you see that right now we've got a ramp signal back to the negative and we've got a saw signal. So that's, that's just very usable, of course, if you do want to use any sort of attenuated or attenuated signals. And this is, of course, also then used in the output for the mix. So you can just set this to positive and as I said that 
the input from channel one is normal to the inputs for to channel two, three, and four. So I can also grab this one and turn that into the negative. And you'll start to see that the LEDs behind the actual buttons are gonna do the exact opposite of each other. So let me just connect this one to channel one and this one to channel two. And that's of course a nice thing to see. And if we then disconnect these and only grab the mix, you're gonna see zero because they cancel each other out, of course. But if I then turn this one also to the positive, you're gonna see that they, well, they're right in sync with each other. So again, let me just turn this to the middle. That's just fun. What I'm also gonna do now is I'm just gonna grab another cable and I'm just gonna, well, grab another LFO so we can actually see what we uh, what we have here. So I'm gonna grab one from a taxier, put that into channel two. There we've got the actual shape that we're working with. And we can of course indeed again invert that. Or anything we want. And then of course, if we look at this one, we still see that that is normal to channel one. So that's good to keep in mind. And of course, the same thing is true for channel four, of course, there you go. Then let's just uh, turn these all the way to zero again. Let's grab the offset. Well, and as you might say, well, this is of course an offset, so you can get a nice five volt value there or a minus five. And as mentioned, if you press this button, it will be added to the mix. So if I just put this into the mix, you go from minus five to plus five. And if I then press the button again, it's back to zero because then it's just excluded from the mix. So this is then of course something that you can really start to work with. And well, the other thing which might make sense to, uh, to look into is of course the noise source. So here we've got the actual noise source. Of course, this doesn't really uh, make any sort of sense if you're looking at this, even if we zoom in on the time scale, it's just white noise. Let me just uh, quickly uh, give you uh, a listen. white noise, nothing special about it, but very usable. So this is of course something that you will need if you start building percussion or anything else there. So uh, let's just uh, connect this back here. So we've got our noise back there, nice white noise. And well, let's uh, add some more, well, sources to this. So right now we have the We've got the saw coming from Orna. We've got the well, the nice exponential one coming from the Ataxia. Always fun. And we can then also grab something from, well, what do we want? Let's grab something from Pam's new workout. That's always fun, right? And I'm just gonna change that real quickly. So that we get another nice LFO there. Oh, we might just get the, yeah, the smooth random, that's always fun. So let's turn these down. Let's grab signal number three. So this is the, uh, signal coming from Pam's new workout. It's always positive, so that's nice. And then we just add the others to it. And you can then of course mix and match this a bit if you want to turn it down a bit. And let's um, see what we can do. Uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll patch this into the Volt Peroctive um, of the foundation. It's not gonna be, 
It's not going to make sense, but at least it's something, right? So, there we go. It's a nice random but still recognizable pattern, so this is something you can then use, of course. And as said, this is not going to win any sort of <laughs> awards, but still, it's fun. Let's just change this to, uh, to another sine wave there as well. Grab this and put it into a sine wave two. I'm just increasing the frequency of the honor. Maybe just a bit slower. And what we can then also do is if we want to add something, so I can just add some offset here and there. But let's just do that so we can go all the way up. It's outside of our audio range. Or we can go all the way down. And we're actually hitting the... We're actually clipping the signal at that point. So if we then maybe we'll do it like that. So what we've already seen is how we can now use this as well as an attenuverter, um, how we can use the offsets, how we can use to mix CV signals, how we can add the offsets, and we've seen what we can do with the noise. Uh, but let's just change this real quickly and see what we can do from a audio mixing perspective. Let me just disconnect this. I, I just love the feeling of disconnecting all these cables. So let's uh, grab something else. So I'm just gonna grab something from there so what we then do is we grab the audio signal from hermit and i'm just going to put that into the full prerogative of the owner grab the well let's work with the yeah let's just work with the pulse output so there you go we then grab this one Patch, patch that into the first one and we need to grab some a nice envelope there let's just use the text here for that so we can just uh, trigger that and we can grab the actual envelope and we already see that that's starting to behave like something and then of course as we are working with audio it doesn't really matter whether we use the positive or the negative one uh, for now from a well, usability standpoint I'm just going to grab the negative one and just turn this around and you've got the exact same one grab the base from the foundation let's just change this 
slightly. Add some Euclidean to it. And then of course, if you do add some offset to it, you're just gonna distort the actual signal. Slightly. There's a reason why I've got ma I've got the lich there to add some nice reverb to this. So what I can now do is I can just add and trigger the the boing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab some noise from this here, patch that into the boing, which is of course then an LPG. So audio in. Add that to the mix as well. And we're then just gonna trigger that from something else in PAMS. And as it's just a mixer, you can just make sure that you get the exact sound that you want. This is one of the ma many possible uses of vivisect. Um, I think that I've only scratched the surface here. There's so much more to it. Um, I love it. I see myself using this for quite some uh, for quite some time. Uh, but for now, I would say let's go back to the studio and let's uh, wrap this up, shall we? Cheers. Truly, I hope you enjoyed this video on vivisect by Animal Factory Amplification. Um, it's a great module, I truly love it. I think that, well, it would fit in any rack out there. And you would, of course, need to consider whether this is right for your rack, but I can't see any reason why this wouldn't fit in, well, every rack out there. So that being said, I do want to thank all of my patrons and all of the people that have bought me a coffee and that have joined Discord uh, as well. So we've had a great meeting uh, with Myla Melodies just two weeks ago. We've had uh, people joining from all over the world. So if you want to well, be involved there, if you want to join these conversations, feel free to join the Discord server. I'll make sure to put a link down there as well. And if you want to support this channel in any way, shape or form, um, well, the easiest way is, of course, to use any of the affiliate links uh, listed in the description as well. So it won't cost you anything extra. You won't have to do anything special. 
Um, but if you use those links, a certain percentage will go towards this channel. And as always, it's also possible to become a patron if you do want to, uh, well, commit to a certain uh, amount per month, or you could just do a one-off and just buy me a cup of coffee and all of those links are below as well. So in the meantime, as always, if you've got any questions, any recommendations, any piece of feedback, because I'm still learning, I'm still learning so much. So I do applaud any anyone who wants to reach out to me and just let me know what they felt after the, watching this video. Just drop me a line at jesper at the modular clubhouse.nl uh, or just join the Discord and just uh, find me there. Or you might find me online through social media. For now, I would say, everyone, please stay safe, stay healthy, and um, enjoy life. Reach out to your loved ones, and um, take care. Cheers.